Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We uh, I had somebody ask me to skin a coon. I got a coon, matter of fact. You want me to show him to you? I sure I see him. He's right here on the top of this tree. I don't know if you can see him laying there, but he's there. We had somebody ask us to skin a coon. Uh, we don't have a coon today. We got a skunk. Y'all seen me get him out of the trap. I put a clip of that in there. Um, when you become a mountain man, and that's what some people kind of consider me. I reckon out here, I'm, I'm more of a flatlander than a swamp. But uh, you get called on to dispose of these critters. And actually, this is on my brother's property. He caught this, uh, well, he caught a skunk the other day in a trap. I come got it, and he was trying to catch a fox. And uh, he never did put no bait back in the trap. So he come down here the other night to put the bait in the trap. And I said it when I got the other skunk out the other day. Well, this caught another skunk just purely on scent that was in there. So I'm going to dispatch this skunk, get it out. Uh, now, the other skunk that was in there got me when I was skinning it. I'll tell you all that story a little later on, but we're going to get this dispatched. Uh, and I'm probably not going to film dispatching it, but what you want to do with a 22 is get a good lung shot. That's right in back of the front shoulder, same as you would a deer or anything, but... Uh, that way you don't spray very much when you do that and uh, so we're going to get him dispatched out of this trap and hope we don't get sprayed in the process. You can see right there they expire pretty quick. I keep a feed sack just to keep from getting this sin all over everywhere. That way I can sleep in the house after this is over with. Uh, but that did take him just a second that long shot he didn't spray hard at all. Now what I do is the reason this caught one like it did is I go ahead and set this trap kind of to get that out of there. We'll, we'll get the, the essence out of it, uh, skin it, try to get the pelt. It looks like a pretty young skunk. Uh, but anyway, we got that out. Help the neighbors out, which this is family, but I do it for a couple of neighbors around. And they got their own traps, and they set them around their chicken pens and stuff. And when they get something like that they don't want to fool with, they call me. So we'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors. Funny story. <laughs> the other day, you see this vest I got on. I had somebody asked me about this vest. Well, I'm out here, come back from hunting, got this coon decided. I mean, the skunk decided I'm gonna skin it. I'm a whittling away, and this bite done got dark, and I done skin a bunch of them, so I'm, you know, confident I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just a whittling away. When I went to strip that tail, you know, I hadn't, I'd gotten hurry and I hadn't milked them glands yet. Well, I have pulled that tail off and comes right out, and then you can pull the skin back, and you can get in there and milk them glands. You can see right where they are and hit them. I pull it. I got a syringe over here. I'll show you in a minute. Well, I got in a hurry, and it didn't strip just like I thought. So instead of me cutting around it a little more, I just really bowed it. When I pulled that, swoosh, and it got me in a do-rag right here. It got on my vest all right here, down my shirt sleeve, my glasses. I had them up on top of my head. It smeared off. <laughs> So now I got good cover sand on my hunting vest, which is all right. So I decided, you know what, I might as well put some more on it. So we're going to skin this thing right quick. So y'all enjoy listening to the Roosters Crow. Well, somebody wanted a game file video. So this might be a game file video too. You can hear them roosters just a holler. They get excited when I start talking out here. Uh, I'm going to move in, bring the camera over here a little bit closer, show how I start this off before I hang him up. And then we're going to hang him up and peel him right quick. It don't really take long, and I got daylight, I can see what I'm doing today. 
And I do have me a feed sack I made me an apron out of, put them grommets in it. I got some gloves here. I'm going to go ahead and put them on. They done got skunk smell all over them. Now I'm just going to use my old trapper. I do have another knife out here that I use a pretty good bit. I'll lay it over here. I'll show you what I use. This is a Tony Satchery syringe, and I changed the needle out on it. That's an injecting, marinade injection. Uh, this is an old kitchen knife. It's like a, I don't know if it's a paring knife or what, but I, that pointed shape, it, it does good for cuts. Uh, and then that's two sticks. That's what I stripped the tail with. And I didn't run over this time too, but I just, this old slick rock. And I just hone a little edge on there. I don't try to get all crazy, but I'm going to lay it over here out of the way. And this is a skinning knife, and I like that gut hook, rip that tail open with. And I don't use it a whole lot. Sometimes I do it with this knife. And I'm not no expert fur handler, so this is not a professional fur handling video. But I started this heel right here. That's one of the things this sharp point comes in handy. And you have to be careful with that sharp point though. I'm going to just get both of them started. Because if you slip and jug it right in here, y'all know about that word jug. Anyway, you do get in there too much and you'll have another mess. You'll be like I was with it. You'll be like them old boys that back in the uh, Depression when the Depression started. Or Well, I think it was after the Depression. These old boys, uh, Daddy come in, he worked in the coal mines up there in West Virginia. Old Mike Reed, you might know some of these folks. I don't know. Wouldn't none of your butt. May, may have been your bunch. I don't know. Anyway, it's up in West Virginia up there, and uh, the, rail, the coal mine went on strike. Man, they done got poor. But this is back, you know, back in the heydays of trapping. Fur was worth a little something. So Daddy he come in one day and he said, "Boys," he said, "We fixing to start trapping." So he said, "All right." So they went and they, they had a few traps and they went and bought them some more traps and stuff and uh boy they was they was really fixing to do it and they got to trapping and got to doing pretty good and they went and they got them some more traps and uh was running them every day. By the end of the first second week there, they was telling the daddy what all they had caught and telling them what trap had caught what and you know they was all excited. And, uh, and Daddy said, well, what about that trap down yonder by the creek, you know, in the corner of that field? They said, well, well Daddy, I, we, 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 didn't, uh, we didn't run that one. He said, Why not? He said, it had a skunk in it. He said, well, that's all right. We'll get him. He said, well, Daddy, how, how are we going to get that skunk out of there? He said, I don't care how you get him. He said, but get him. We want him. Them old boys, they went down there. They eased around that thing. And finally, one of them got brave enough. He eased up and then he backed on. But he said, no, nah. he said, I'm not going to. He said, Daddy will get mad at us. We waste too many of them 22 bullets. So we, we can't shoot him. We're going to. So finally, one of them boy, boy, he got the courage up. He went up there and he wrapped that old skunk on the head. And he just sprayed just a little bit. But when they got back, they had to skin him and got it all over them. Boy, they had a mess, you know, learning how to skin that thing, figured out. But, man, by the end of the season, they done figured that out. They done knew what they was doing. They said, man, they could walk up to a skunk and just hit him on the head. Said they wouldn't even have to trap him. Said he wouldn't even run from them no more. Said they smelled so much like skunk. Said he'd just stand there and let them walk right up to him. Well, anyway, the end of the season, old boys, Daddy told them, said, well, y'all, said, now, we'll, uh, we're going to take you spur to town and, uh, get a check. He said, we done had a good year. He said, we're going to go get us a soda pop. 
They said, we're going to have us a hamburger and go watch a movie. Let me get this hang up and we'll finish our story. Now, I got a string right here. I just got a loop tied on here. I just stick one foot through there and let it cinch it right down on there. Just like so. And we'll hope that holds. Anyway, old boys, they went on to town. Went in there and boy, they eat them a hamburger and they said, boy, it was nice, you know, there wasn't nobody else even in the place. They eat right in there and got what they wanted. They didn't have to wait on the waiters and that. They got through with that. Boy, they said that was a fine hamburger. They had never had nothing like that before. So they get, went, went over to the uh, movie house and they were going to watch them a, what they call in, you know, a moving picture show. So they was setting up in the moving picture show. Said it hadn't started yet. They got there a little early, you know. And you see that yellow coming out, the vent there, is what they, that's what they call the vent. That's where them barking spiders is at and them frogs. They in that vent. But said them boys, there was a lined up said there's so many of them you know they took up a whole row in the movie theater and uh said there's another group finally come in said they sat there a little bit and said they got up and left a little bit later said here come another group in said they sat there a little bit and said doggone they didn't get up and leave said that boy's daddy leaned over and he said boys he said when the next group comes in here and they all get set down he said let them get set down there for a few minutes he said then let's all get up and leave well, the youngest of nobody, he was really wanting to watch a picture. He said, well, Daddy, why are we going to leave? He said, shut up, boy. He said, you don't want them to think we the ones that stink, do you? <laughs> oh. Mike Reed, that wasn't none of your bunch, was it? You ain't heard that story? <laughs> now, I, I cut below the privates on the front part. Now, there is some glands in here that a fella might want if he's making his own lure. I do save them. Uh, I hadn't used them yet. In fact, I still got the ones I saved last year. Now, y'all see right here how I have got this tail. This is where I got to the other day. And that thing I went to pull on that, and them glands is right here on each side of the vent. And if you squeeze them too much, it'll shoot that yellow spray right out of there on you. And now I had him just like this, and when I squirted, it shot up like that, but the mist of it come over, and it just spread all on my Oh! And I don't mind a little skunk smell, or I wouldn't be skinning this, but when it hits you right there in the side of the face, it's tough. But anyway, I'm going to show you how we go about this. I got my syringe, and that's a pretty good size needle on there. And I hope the camera is in focus. I think it is. I'm not going to try to zoom in, but you can see there's a little bulge right here on the side of that. Good shot needle. Oh. All right, it went in. All right. Now, as you milk, you ease that, you keep some pressure on it, keep it on the downhill side and ease it out. All right, and you see how much we got there? You don't go on, that's a pretty good bit. They tell me this stuff's valuable, I don't know, I hadn't tried to sell any. Oh, and you do. Alright, that is milk and a skunk. You see how red that is? You can right there that, melt you down some Vaseline and make your own hellfire right there. That's why it's so red. <laughs> ah. My wife is having a Christmas party tonight for the ladies from the church. She's going to be real proud of me skinning this skunk today. <laughs> 
Yeah, they gonna do a Southern Mud Pottery Ornament Exchange tonight. <laughs> I'll probably be a celebrity in that one. <laughs> but probably not of the popular variety. What they call infamous. Anyway. Well, if they, she kicks me out, y'all, any of y'all got somewhere I can stay film? <laughs> Keep in mind, I come with skunk. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to tell you right here, it's still possible that a little of that get on you now, so I don't, these gloves, I may have to skin him down a little bit more. You can see how close I was up when I got hit in the face. You gotta get them, a, a good tail stripper is probably a good idea, but I'm one of them hard-headed old school kind of people, and I like to do it my way, you know, cause that's the best way to do things, the way I wanna do it. It's I did not say that the way you want to do it's always the right way, but it's best you go on and do it your way, and then you'll know it either works or it don't work, and then you, you know, you can go from there. <laughs> but by then you'll at least have that part out of the way. Y'all know we try to make everything fun here yeah, if we can. But hook your saw. Uh, a gut hook in there. And if it don't get too full of hair right off the of bat, it'll usually go all the way to the... And you want to go to the tip because you want to, uh... And we did. We all the way, we split all the way down. All right. We're good to go. Uh, now if you're hunting, hunting glands along these e legs right here, I don't know where this gland has gotten off to. Sometimes it comes off in this fat, but if not, they usually wrap in there. I don't see it though. What about on this one? There it is. See that gray? This one's got one right there. There's one on both sides. I just ain't found it. I'll show you what I'm doing with them. I got a little old bottle. Got a cork in the top. And I stick it, a little bit of meat, don't hurt nothing, the fat don't hurt nothing, it'll render into oil. And I got a stump sitting down here, I'll set that on till I get through putting what glands. And, and every gland I run across, I generally cut out and put in there. See, there's two little glands right here. So that, and if I'm going to make my own lure, a little bit of that fat and stuff ain't going to hurt nothing. It'll render into an oil and, and it'll smell like skunk too. But now when you use your knife after you do this on your first uh, ham sandwich, it tastes a little funny, you know, when you spread that mayonnaise, so you might want to. Instead of wiping this on your blue jeans just once, wipe it twice. <laughs> That's probably for that lady that... She didn't think I washed my chitlins good enough in that video. She, she really frowned on that. I let her know I didn't invite her to supper though, so she didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> All right, now right here, most of the time, y'all, we're going to get on, I'm going to speed this on up. I shot that joker right in the, uh, in the lungs there. He didn't spray not a lick when we shot him. Hook, hook that there. I just take that, cut that. That little bit of fur and hair ain't going to make no difference. Then you come around, remember his ears is right down here on the side of his head. And I could have skinned this a lot faster. 
Uh, ooh, I done cut a hole in him, y'all, getting in a hurry with him. His ears is right down here on the side of his head, so. Right there, you want to cut that and get in behind there. Cut that one and get in behind it. And then you get to the eyes now. If you're doing like taxidermy type stuff, you want to make sure that you get in there. And after he's laid there, I tell you, this skunk's been laying out here in this bag for two days. Raw, uh, which it ain't real hot. According to Mississippi standards, it ain't never cool. But... Yeah, but a, a skunk, I could have skinned him a whole lot faster if I hadn't been trying to film and talk and carry on. Make it funny, you know. But they don't nobody want to watch no bunch of boring, dry stuff. But now I realize you don't want somebody to just stupid all the time, neither. I don't. I had this one fellow I watched on YouTube. He had good information, but he was just so goofy. You know, you wouldn't. It was to the point that it really wasn't even funny. You know. Boy, there's a lot of fat on that, and I save that fat too. Y'all skunk fat, and it don't really smell like skunk. Or it don't to me. Maybe I'm used to it and don't notice it, but. I put it all in a coffee can and just leave it sitting out here and keep collecting it. It and beaver, coon, whatever I'm skinning. I just, all the fat goes into one because it's just grease. Man, oiling up axe handles and stuff. And what I have found with the handles is it ain't like motor oil or those type of oils that you oil them up and it's slick and it won't slide out of your hand. This stuff is, your hand will stick to it. So if, if you home make your own handle and this raw ain't got nothing on it or either you bought one and you sand it down get whatever varnish they put on there off put some pine tar on there because that pine tar really get in there and preserve it and then go over it with this oil but now you can do just this oil and it works pretty good i have done either one so uh i'm gonna put this joker over here on the flesh and beam and i'm gonna run it and i've got to build a new flesh and beam i'm gonna show y'all why too while i'm at it Y'all see right here on my flesh and bleed, this thing has split. And I want this smaller, so the next one I'm going to turn around the other way, and I'm going to put the little end up here. But we finna pull this log out, I may do it, and I'm probably going to redo this other one over here. I want a better pipe that's longer, if I can get my hands on some. So I'm probably going to redo both of my beams. But now I like my beam more flat like this. A lot of people want them straight down. That's up to you, your preference. Uh, but I'm probably finna build a new one, but... I'm not going to build it today. Well, I want to build it on there. I'm going to probably let you guys help me build it. But see how the head hangs off? I want something down to a smaller point where I can put that on in there. And then right here, y'all ain't nothing to this. You just want to get all this meat, fat. Now this meat, as it comes off, them chickens right there, they stand there and wait. They like when I start fleshing something. because. And you see right here, you see what I'm talking about? You see that right there? That's because of that crack in there. So it makes me flesh in these animals a mite aggravating. But anyway. But anyway, look, this is the end of the skunk video. We, we told a couple of good tales and we got our skunk scent. This is our cover scent. So we got that rub, you know, all on our vest good. <laughs> it's how poor redneck does things. But thank y'all for watching my videos. Man, I hope y'all are enjoying doing what we do. I don't do a lot of skinning and, and butchering videos, but hey, this is an outdoor channel. We do outdoor stuff. This is just the way we live. I don't ramble around killing everything I see. You see I turned that coon? He's still laying up yonder in that tree. Uh, I turned him loose because he was a little bitty thing, and I didn't want to skin him, and, and he ain't hurting nothing up there. Now, if he starts getting in my chickens, I may have to get rid of him, and I may regret turning him out right there, but I don't just have it in my heart to go to killing everything I see, so this ain't one of those blood and guts, let's slaughter everything type of deals. This is just the way we live, and I, I'm going to tan all these skunks. These, these are skunks that I didn't even trap these skunks. These are people got them in a trap. Will you come get this out of my trap for me? Yeah, I'll come get it. And there's a lady down here. She's caught two. They're eating her cat food up out from under her porch. So they're going to dispatch them anyway. So 
I'm not rambling around just trying to see what I'll unkill, but thank y'all for watching my videos. I hope y'all having a good time enjoying these. Uh, and we'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors. Y'all have a good one.